is God. And so we have four children. Uh, we graduated our oldest daughter. Well, here's one here. <laughs> uh, my oldest baby, uh, we pulled her out of public school, fourth grade, and homeschooled her all the way through to 12th. And she finished college two years ago. And so come on, that's a blessing. Come on now, that is a blessing. We're one in a million. Come on, that is a tremendous blessing. What God has given us the strength to do. And as you see, we got four more. My two boys are back there behind the tree, 14 and 12. And then my baby girl, Tahiji, she's five. So, you know, when I'm, when I'm at these things or whatever I'm doing, you guys, it's from my heart when I'm talking about children. Um, there, as many of you know, there's a lot of egregious things happening. And, and a lot of these things, mostly, especially when it comes to the education, because we believe strongly what the word of the Lord says, that we ought to train our children up in the way that they should go. And I cannot stomach what is happening in the education system. It is repulsive what is happening in the education system. And I do a lot of speaking concerning homeschooling and parental rights and advocating for families to really consider homeschooling their children. And let me just say this, because as, as I'm standing here, I see all the American flags and everybody's so patriotic. I want you guys to consider the liberties and the freedoms that we do have in this country. I understand what is happening in the education system. I understand careers. I understand degrees. But we are in a country where we can create our own schools. We are in a country where we do not have to stand by and allow these bureaucrats to literally usurp our parental authority and think they have a right to do what they're doing to our children. A lot of you educators that are out here, principals, teachers, start your own schools. And as corrupt as Illinois is, they are the most liberal when it comes to home education, when it comes to education and starting a private school. Come on, y'all need to clap for that. Start your own schools. You know, and you won't have to deal with the vaccinations and the massing of children. And, and educators, come on, are the most influential people in the world. We love teachers. We love educators. If you guys would just send an email to some of your, your students' parents, they will follow you. These students cherish you. They love you. I say again, start your own schools. Come on, don't get quiet on me now. Start your own schools. So we're out here today because we believe in the sovereignty and the freedoms that we have and in these things that are, that, and, and against a lot of these things that are happening. The mass again, the forced vaccinations, your jobs being threatened. And we will not stand by and continue to allow governments or anybody, any lobbyist group, anything to coerce us into doing these things. And I, again, I say again and again, I'm standing here for children. And again, my children are homeschooled. I'm standing here for my neighbor's children. Get your kids out of public school. So as you know, one of the bills that just was signed into law, the SBA 1A, there's a lot of buzz going about SBA 1A all over the, all over the state. And so you guys know what it's about. The name of it is very mis misleading. It's the Keeping Youth Safe and Healthy Act. And it's teaching comprehensive sexual education. And it's aligned with the national sex education standards. Most of you may know what that is, but do you know that within those standards, they're gonna teach children as young as in the third grade how to masturbate? They're teaching them that that's normal child behavior. Yeah, yeah, we have the book, it's perfectly normal. This is a global agenda. This is a global agenda. And teaching children as young as 11 years old how to consent to sexual activity. Encouraging and advocating for radical child sexual rights and aggressively promoting abortion. Come on, we gotta pray for all the blood that has been shed in this country with abortion. We have to stop this madness with killing the unborn, killing the innocent. And so with this agenda, they're gonna push that even more so. It's gonna be even more of that happening. And then they wanting tampons in the boy's bathroom, why? Affirming homosexuality, transgender, queers, gender ideology, sexual identity, gender, ex gender expression. And then you have Black Lives Matter that wanna disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family. Wanna destroy that, traditional family. And from, the, from a, as a black woman, the black family, that's the last thing we need is for our families to be disrupted, for traditional families to be destroyed. Come on now, we can't afford this to be in the school systems. And so I'm asking you, teachers and educators and those that are out here that are leading your community, pastors, you guys got to start seriously 
heavenly considering. Let me back that up. As Christians, forget your career. As a believer, you need to seriously start considering where you're sending your children. Your children should be planted in the house of the Lord. They should not be bombarded with this level of sexual indoctrination. Children are in school 15,000 hours. And this is not to be egregious over to people that work in the school systems. But this is something that you need to earnestly pray about and consider. That these children are sitting under ungodly instruction and proposed bills like this here. And this stuff is touching their palates day in and day out. And we wonder why we're seeing generations growing up to be very pr promiscuous. All this promiscuity. And if this thing goes forth with this generation, what kind of generation are we going to have? What's going to be these children's psychological condition? They're grooming them for pedophilia. They're grooming, grooming them for sex trafficking. They're, they shouldn't be pawns for, for this industry, a billion dollar industry. We have to wake up and rescue our children. We have to save our children. I've been running a, a private Christian school for 14 years. And I encourage you all, again, to heavily consider starting your own school. Bring these babies to your kitchen table. Help your neighbor's children. Help these families get these babies out of this system. Because let me tell you guys something. From a disciple of Jesus Christ to all of you that say you're Christians, and I know that you are, God said there was a time when he winked at this. But he has manifested his will in this generation. And all of us will stand before the almighty God one day. And we're going to give an account. And what you going to tell God? My career? My pension? What you going to tell him? Seriously. What you going to tell Jesus? Just think about that. What are you going to tell Jesus? My, my house? My mortgage? I had to pay for my kids' tuition in college? Oh, my, you know, I was paying so many taxes in that area? You, you, your children are worth more than your taxes. There's no dollar amount you can put on the souls of kids, of humanity. Children, human beings are invaluable. And I don't care what amount of taxes you're paying. That does not give a right for these children to be indoctrinated at this level. No indoctrination for that matter. So I leave that with you today. As a believer in Jesus Christ, if you hear nothing else I say, and it's in the Bible you read, you will give an account. You will answer to the almighty God for not just your children, but the responsibility that you've had for educating others. Parents and all, all of us, myself included, we will give an account for every deed, every thought, everything we've done. So again, pray earnestly and fervently concerning what is happening in the school system. Granted, keep fighting the school boys. That's great. But the school systems right now is like a burning house. It's like a house on fire. 